Hi there guys, how you doing? This is me, Jim Paz, that 45 and I'm back today with the next episode of my FIFA 13 career mode. And we have got three games coming up today. We have got Black Ball at home, Birmingham City away, and then to finish with, we have Ipswich Town at home. So going into this first game at home to Black Ball, you can see that I give various players a chance that I may not all the time, like Luke Shaw and Mikel both start. We also have Moosey starting and Raheem Sterling gets his first uh, appearance for us from the start and so we get into the game and uh, these three games were pretty entertaining actually all of them were uh, filled with goals and Dexter Blackstock you can see immediately making an impact and I'm still not too sure about him if I'm honest uh, I obviously we didn't loan him out uh, during a transfer window but I I very well could have and uh, maybe I should have but he does prove his worth during this game Lewis McGugan has plenty of chances he had a couple of good shots which were saved by the keeper and uh, we go into half time at 0 0. And it was a bit of a quiet first half, but there you go. Dexter Blackstock makes up for uh, some poor performances before now with a good header. And that was a lovely cross as well from Elliot Bennett, who I feel is starting to come on. And there you can see Simon Cox with a good goal. And uh, he is probably just about coming back. He's probably getting towards his peak again after his. Uh, four week injury but they have plenty of chances Blackpool and we just couldn't really seem to settle down and uh, they managed to get back into it with Tom Ince and uh, Moosey has been absolutely brilliant in, uh, and you'll see this episode he's been absolutely superb but they get back into it and Sylvestra scores and we let a two goal lead slip and that is absolutely terrible from us but Moosey makes up for it just keeps going it's sheer persistence it's a terrible terrible uh, finish if you like it's extremely lucky but he just kept going they have a good chance there with the header but that's it and we win that game by three goals to do and that was really important because to let a two goal lead slip at home really isn't very good and uh, you know you want to come back and you want to get a win and thankfully we did get a win so we go on into the next game and we go away to Birmingham City and this should be quite a tough game and uh, we field a very strong lineup as well and uh, straight away we get into it and who's having chances again it's Moosey and uh, Robson Carney retakes his place as does Connor Wickham and their first chance we've been all over them in the first 15 minutes until then with Keith Fahey scoring with their first move of the game but what about this for a, a response Connor Wickham what a goal that is that was absolutely superb nicely played into him by Billy Sharp takes a touch sets it up nicely and bang into the bottom well not into the bottom corner into the very top corner and you can see there Darlene with a good save now we have Robson Carnu and Henry Lansbury what about that for a strike as well he's been really really better much better than he was before because he was really pretty uh, pretty sloppy but uh, he's really picked up and I'm much more pleased with him now and you can see how Robson Carnu he has a shot He's been okay, but who's there from the rebound? Henry Lansbury, great header, and it gives us a 3-1 lead going into half-time, and that was really important because it gives us that two-goal lead, which is really crucial. It's all going to work having a one-goal lead, but that can be taken apart quite easily. And Lansbury, again, having a chance, but not quite managing to capitalise on it. And we did have plenty of chances, and Connor Wickham, he could have scored there, but it was a good tackle, and he's not necessarily had the best of... Uh, episodes if you like his uh, his goals have dried up a bit he scored five league goals already so he's, he's our our most prolific striker and he is really sensational as I've I've said many times and there you can see Matt Derbyshire almost scoring with a nice high uh, high effort but they have a couple of chances but nothing too major and we come out with a good 3-1 win and it's good that we can get that kind of away win because, uh, you know, that's a strong performance from us. And I was really pleased, especially going to go down. And you can see there that Moosey uh, gets a good rating. But Lansbury is man of the match out, and understandably so, with two goals. So Lansbury and Moosey both start together in that centre of midfield. We have Harrobs and Carney starting out on the left as well. But we do have players like Sterling on the bench. And so coming into this game at home to Whips, which I think at this point they are 10th or 11th in the league. And this was a much more uh, close game. We couldn't really fathom too many chances, but there again you can see Moosey making the tackle and Billy Sharp firing just wide. We couldn't really make too many chances, if I'm honest. They were playing it around really nicely. But one thing that I have noticed on FIFA 13 is that the computer does have a tendency to try and pass it around far too much. And you can see we capitalise on that, and Henry Lansbury, that would have been a screamer if that had gone in. But it flew just wide of the post, which was a disappointment. 
and uh, Bennett and Wickham linking up nicely, and Wickham again having a chance. But as I say, maybe it just wasn't his uh, wasn't his day. He had a few chances that he didn't really take, and I was a bit disappointed. And we have so many strikers, we have a bit of a dilemma as to who to actually use. But you can see Wickham proves his worth, sets up Bennett who hits it very well. And it's a good stop from the keeper who I believe is Scott Loach. But we have a bit of a dilemma up front because we have so many strikers. And they hit the post there, we get away with that and we clear it away. We have the likes of Simon Cox, Dexter Blackstock, Billy Sharp, Connor Wickham. Uh, Matt Derbyshire, you know, we've got four or five good strikers. Billy Sharp's only on loan, though, so he'll be going at the end of the season. But there you can see Andor scores on 77 minutes, and that was a bit of a hammer blow, really, because we were pushing on, trying to get something, and then they come, and I believe that was his first touch. He came on as a sub, and that was one of his first involvements in the game. A good header there from Michael Chopra. Fairly simple save in the end. We do have our chances on Connor Wickham again getting in on the action. And Matt Derbyshire, his one and only chance of the game after coming on as a sub. But he couldn't score from there. And it's a really disappointing 1-0 defeat. But we come out with our heads held high. <laughs> and it finishes... Uh, one nil to Ipswich. So let's have a quick look at the lead table. You can see that we are actually sitting in fourth, although there is starting to develop a bit of a gap between fourth and third. So in the next episode, we have Charlton away, the big derby match at home to, to Derby, and then we have Hull City away. So we're going to look now at goal of the episode, which is a new feature for this. It's fairly self explanatory, and today it could only really be one goal, and that was Connor Wickham against Birmingham. As I said, Beautiful touch, sits up nicely for him, hits it on the right foot, and it's a great finish. So that's, a, that's the end of today's episode, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, I, will be, I will be back tomorrow. I will be uploading videos as much as I can over the next week because I'm off school. So uh, hopefully we'll get plenty of videos. But thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm Chimpanzee45. Like, comment, and subscribe, and that'll be all. Thanks a lot for watching, and goodbye.